This is going to use the input quaternion, which I have displaced here. And this is going to compute the quaternion for input Euler angles of psi, heading, pitch, theta, and roll P. And I use the formulas given in class that are shown here. So when I run this M file, it's going to ask me for my heading, and we're just going to do a 90 degrees of pitch from the start of north. So I'm going to say that I'm hitting north at 0 degrees, and then my theta is going to be 90 degrees of pitch, and my roll angle is going to be 0 degrees. And here I get the direction cosine matrix, C, V to B, for situational awareness. And if I apply the inverse angles that, that we had in class, I see that my theta is 90 degrees, so my roll angle is 0, and my heading angle is 0. I take a look at the quaternion. I the quaternion for 90 degrees of pitch heading north, initially heading north, is uh, initial value for Q0, and 1 and 3 quaternion parameters are 0. And to see what this means physically, see what this means physically, uh, I compute the rotation angle from the formulas to get 90 degrees, and then uh, it will give me the cosine of the angle with the i vector, which is zero, so that means it's 90 degrees with the i axis, the rotation matrix is 90 degrees with respect to the i axis, zero degrees with respect to the j axis, so it's rotating about j and 0 degrees with respect to the k v axis. And then uh, I take the arc cosine and I see that I have 90 degrees of uh, alpha, 0 degrees for beta, and 90 degrees for gamma, the three angles. And that's the end. So if we want to do this again, um, with let's try let's try just doing a rolling of 90 degrees. So I'll run this again. This time I'll have zero degrees. Theta will be zero degrees. And now I will roll the angle 90 degrees. So you can visualize what that looks like. And once again, if I apply the inverse to the direction cosine matrix, I get zero theta, 90 degrees of roll, and 90 degrees or zero degrees for heading. The quaternion uh, now has a Q1. The rotation angle is 90 degrees. The rotation vector is 90 degrees, and the cosine of the angles are one for alpha. That means that alpha is zero degrees, and so the rotation vector is aligned with the i-axis rotating at 90 degrees and the axis, the rotation axis is 90 degrees with the j and the k-axis so that we have on the one. Now let's try one more and let's do a heading change of 90 degrees. So we'll run this one more time and then we'll run the heading change of 90 degrees. So let's see what this looks like. My uh, heading change is now going to be 90 degrees. I'm heading east. My theta was 0 degrees. My pitch angle is 0 degrees. And my roll angle is 0 degrees. And there's my situational awareness, C, C V to B, direction cosine matrix. And I see that if I take inverse. Uh, of these elements, I'll get um, pitch angle of zero, roll angle of zero, and a heading change of 90 degrees. And so we'll look at the quaternion. And now I have a quaternion which shows a Q3 value, and Q1 and Q2 are zero. Now that gives me a 90 degree rotation vector for the quaternion, and I see that it's aligned with the KV vector, so I just yawed the aircraft.